Hey guys, RC here back with episode 12 of Play the Kids, our football manager 21 save. We're back for the season review and transfer special today. Please remember to give a like if you like what I'm doing here on the channel. It helps more eyes get on the videos and subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. So we have fallen just short this season. Uh, we stumbled down the stretch, fell out of the top position, and then lost in the playoff finals. So we have to go through this slog once again. Probably not the worst thing to get a couple of uh, youth intakes under our belt. Uh, and I think the kids that we brought in at the end of the season with this year's youth intake will serve as well moving forward. We'll have to find out, though. So let's take a look at our 2063 end of season review. Incoming players, Robin Mudge, 24-year-old striker. We got an E grade on him. That's due to salary. And that's one thing I'll admit to having issues with is controlling salaries at lower levels. Definitely an issue. Uh, Quentin Hemmings, we had in on loan, uh, but we have signed him on a permanent deal going forward. Kind of regretting it now, but he is pretty good. David Tierney uh, was the signing of the season, a C-plus grade on him. Rudy Haycock, we're going to be letting him go. Uh, slam Dunk, uh, a C-grade on loan. We've also signed him. Carnell Bissex, a C-grade, brought him uh, in on a permanent deal. And now that we've had two, you know, some, some other guys coming in in the youth intake, I don't really think I needed all these guys. So... My bad. <laughs> Lewis Taylor at left back. Uh, turned, you know, he needs to step it up, but we got a C-plus grade on him. Ricky Skinner, a winger, C-plus grade. Josh Woodhouse, C-minus. Rico Etherington, a C. John Rawling, a C. Justin Bone, a C. Darren Johnson. Christian Simmons. Rui Martins, 20-year-old 20, 20 uh, from Weston. He just didn't play very much. Uh, Danny Granger's got some potential, but just never, you know, not one ready this year. But the problem is he's 23. Aiden Halil, 26-year-old reserve keeper, and Michael Hughes, our starting keeper. No, he's not our starting keeper. All right. <laughs> That's what we've got coming in. The outgoing, we did sell Jack Evans for 17000 Carl Bailey, Wayne Simpson, and Adam Corbett uh, were released. And the board was pretty pleased with those decisions. We were supposed to fight bravely against relegation. We finished second in the league, lost in the playoff finals, so that bodes well. Uh, we had 14% home attendance with just over 500 people. And Graham Williams was our top scorer in the competition with 37 goals. And we ended up with a plus 33 goal differential. In the FA Cup, uh, they We reached the fourth qualifying round. They just wanted us to be competitive, so they were very happy with that. Graham Williams with six goals in the league, and there you see our results. Losing to Torquay United, uh, and you guys are welcome for the pronunciation lesson on that, I understand. Uh, in the English FA Trophy, Graham Williams had one goal, and Wieldstone or Weldstone beat us 3-1 to one in that one. So, oh boy. I'm still, of course, I'm I'm recording this like right after, you know, the season just ended like five minutes ago. Uh, so, uh, problem is, uh, your success has definitely helped the finances. We're still just a local reputation. These change uh, more into the season or into the off season. But there you see our sponsorship, uh, broadcast revenue corporate and hospitality, competition prize money was helpful this year, and match day commercial and retail. We lined up with Mudge and Williams up top most of the year due to Cooks being injured. Wilkins, Slam Dunk, Bissex, and Bliss Cotterell on the midfield. Taylor, Tierney, Hemmings, and Bea on the back line. I was head coach of the month for the National League South for January. Uh, Fans player of the season was Graham Williams. He was also young player of the season. Top goal scorer with 44 total goals and 10 assists to boot. Robin Mudge had the goal of the season. David Tierney was signing of the season. And record set, 44 goals, 37 league goals, 
Three goals in a match, all by Graham Williams. Three goals in a league match, Robin Mudge. Ten assists in a season by Graham Williams. Aiden Murphy, 15 clean sheets. So he did a great job, even though he looked like crap down the stretch. Graham Williams, 16 players of the match. James Sloan, 12 yellows and two reds. Yeah, he might be playing the wrong football. <laughs> Maybe we need to ship him over to the rugby team. Or, you know, we brought that American kid in for our youth intake. Maybe we can send Sloan over to the, uh, to the NFL. Uh, Graham Williams, 37 league goals, most by a player. Jason Bliss, youngest player, age 16 years, 220, I'm sorry, 16 years, 24 days. Rudy Haycock, the oldest player, 33 years, 88 days. Highest transfer fee paid was 3K for Lewis Taylor. Jack Evans brought in 17.1K. Williams had the fastest goal in 21 seconds. The youngest goal scorer was David Tierney at 19 years, 18 days. Rudy Haycock, the oldest goal scorer at 33 years, 29 days. And that's it. Uh, we asked for the uh, field to be relayed because it's in like abysmal condition. Uh, it's actually up to very poor now, but it was it was like worse, I guess, late in the season. But they have rejected this. All right, well, nothing I can do about that. Record low number of wins. A team low? Shouldn't it be a team high as well? That's weird. So you got to remember, Tiverton just got promoted. So they've never been in the league before. So that's weird. These are all lows. Huh. I guess they are, but wouldn't you look at it, they're record highs? So we had 11 by Daryl Grubb in 2022, so about 42 years ago. Graham Williams now holds the National League South record for 14 player of the matches. Uh, we've already looked at that. All right, club vision, make the most of set pieces. Eh, play high-tempo pressing soccer, football. Eh, work within payroll. They aren't liking that. Uh, ongoing five-year plan, build a new stadium. Wow, I haven't seen that, so that must be up here somewhere. Uh, finish mid-table next season, and then my contract expires. So they're only looking, they're not even looking for us to get out of the National League South over the next five years. We'll, we'll take that. All right, Grant Wilkins is our one team leader. Adam Murphy, Tim Cook, Justin Bone are highly influential. Uh, let's talk to the players. Ricky Skinner is very negative. Top half, mid table, there we go. Exactly the sort of reaction. We'll discuss promises later, see ya. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Tim Cook missed two months with a torn thigh muscle, 18% of the season. Everybody else was, you know, just a few weeks. Squad's gone off to their end-of-season break. Mills wins the player of the season, not Williams. Wow. Disappointed in that. Mm, okay. I mean, I guess that was close, but wow. Disappointing. All right, I'm up for head coach of the season against Alex McLeod, and he is Eastley's coach. So we're going to vote for somebody else. I'm going to vote for Abrahams from uh, Bellaricki. Man, they didn't announce the uh, they didn't announce the um, field, the stadium. Uh, that's cool. So we avoid a tax bill. We get a new main kit sponsorship deal, six and a half thousand. So it's about the same as last year. New scouting budget, 44000 and I believe that's where we are at. So we'll keep that going. And initial budgets, 31000 payroll and 18000 in the transfer budget. Uh, so we're already overspending that. So I'm going to have to let some guys go. I'm going to try to sell some guys for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's jump into team report. And I'm going to use Keith Curran, who's got the best current ability rating uh, to set up. So let's see. Let's take out expiring contracts. All right. So Williams, Cook, Davies, Matthews, Wilkins. Oh, that's right. Benjamin Ireland is coming in this year. I forgot we signed him as an end-of-year deal. 
Can I cancel that? I'm just curious. Can I cancel any of these? I cannot. I don't see a way to void these. All right, well, I was wondering if I could void any of these. Doesn't look like it. Cancel offer. I can't. Maybe, maybe as we get a little closer. Oh, I'd hate to, I'd hate to do that to the, some of these guys, but a couple of these guys, I would, you know, like I'd like the three thousand back. <laughs> that would be good. Um, Ireland can play on the left, and then Wilkins can play on the right. Macaulay Robertson is joining us uh, on six six. He'll be our new right back next year. Sloan will be leaving us. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he is. I don't remember. But all right, so we've got some money to play with. I'm going to have to get rid of some players. We're going to have to really sh shave that payroll. So let me get busy. We'll be back with transfer business. Uh, usually July 1st, July 3rd is when the big signings happen and we get the big report. So we'll see you in about a month and a half in just a minute. Well, we're back with our initial signings. Most of these are the guys that were on loan from last season. Macaulay Robertson's a new player coming in. Uh, we get a C-plus grade on him. Simmons, Rawlings, both get, uh, they get an E and an F. Bissix gets a D, as does Slam Dunk 2. Hemmings gets a B-minus, so hopefully he uh, can live up to that and not look as bad as he did on camera. And Benjamin Ireland gets a B-minus grade. And you remember, Benjamin's going to be a left winger, so... I have made the decision to possibly sign Grant Wilkins. He's 30 years old. He's making 2100 a month. So he's the biggest salary we can cut. And we've got five bids in him in for him at 9.75k. So that's what's going on there uh and we'll see if anything else happens. Oh, we also let go uh, Macaulay Robertson, John Davies. No, that's not it. I let three players go on a free. Oh, well, they didn't even qualify, I guess. All right, well, I'll be back with any more news. And we've pulled the trigger on that deal. Grant Wilkins goes to Southport for 9.75K. Southport up in the Bonorama National. We needed the money. Needed the money. There you go. Well, <laughs> That's the truth, and nothing but. All right, well, and anything else happens, we'll be back. We brought in two new players, Dave Hugel, 23-year-old fullback, a little older than I am going to be shooting for in the life of the save, but in that wheelhouse if it's a position of need. Three-and-a-half star ability, got a B-minus grade on him. Let's take a look at him. He's a left back. We needed a left back. Bone was older. I think he was 29 last year. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But solid defensively. Looks like he'll be a step up for us. He comes in uh, from Poole. He was on Meth at Mether on loan last year and played a 6.74. Uh, played 27 games, started for Poole uh, last year. So he has done pretty well. So far, and we also brought in Musa Isquieto, uh, 22 year old fullback. We got a B minus grade on him. Hello, George. And he is a right back. And of course, we let Sloan go. So, three and a half star uh, current ability, four and a half star potential, five foot ten. He's not bad. He's pretty well rounded for what we've had at fullback. So, uh, hopefully, that defensive ability will help us out this year. I had to come back and show you highlights of our friendly with Bournemouth. The header by Ellis goes in at the back post, putting Bournemouth up early and things were looking bad. Bliss getting another start here. He finds his young partner, Nuevo. It's through to Williams and Williams gets past Brown and slots on the equalizer in the 75th minute. In the 82nd minute, it's lumped. Cook runs onto it, beats Brown, and he chips the keeper. And we've taken a 2-1 lead over Bournemouth. Struggling to hold on now. They dominated us in shots. 
They get the cross. It's to Azoa at the back post. Hughes couldn't hold on to it. You can see 26 to 10 on shots. They just dominated the game. But we still drew with Bournemouth, although they are now a League One side, right? And have been for quite some time. <laughs> but still, that's a pretty good result. So very happy with that. All right, I am back. It is a different day if you couldn't tell from the shirt and no ball cap today. But uh, let's wrap up transfers. Uh, Aaron Lowe's we brought in on loan from Gloucester or Gloucester. Uh, he is not very good, but he is uh, he was available, and that's what we needed. He's on loan to give us some depth at center back. And then my director of football went out and snagged as a snazzy-looking Welsh goalkeeper. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, and four-star current ability, five-star potential, and he's cheap. Remember, our two, our other two keepers are both making a thousand or more uh, per month, and I can't get rid of them now. So this guy was cheap, and he's better. So way to go, director of football. Uh, so that is a deal. Let's take a look at highlights from the first match of the season, and then we'll get into the second match. We were taking on Weston Supermare. And Mudge playing out on the wing today in a one-striker setup. He holds it up, finds the midfield, and then they make a good through ball into Williams, who beats the keeper for the lone goal of the match. Uh, we win 1-0. A few minutes right after that, uh, we had, oh, they might show it here. This is cleared out. Did we score a second goal? I don't think we, oh yeah, he was offsides. So Williams caught the volley there. But a few, uh, earlier in the game, right after the first goal, Williams broke through again, hit the right upright. It bounced back to him. He got the ball back, hit the right upright again, and then they cleared it. <laughs> it was like, and then we had a header that went off the crossbar. So we had three three woodworks that, that could have been a wide-open defeat uh, for Weston. But, uh, yeah. So we're playing a 4-2-3-1 to take advantage again of one of the young players that we brought in last year up in that number 10. Uh, Mudge is moving out to the wing because he's good enough to start out there. We are training him on the right side. Still a semi-pro team. Taking a look at the schedule here, uh, a lot of these were just money-making games. I mean, Aston Villa, Bournemouth, Derby, a Derby. Um, QPR. Those were just to make some money. We actually gave good account of ourselves in a few of these. Uh, we gave up a lot of late goals in this from match. They scored three goals in nine minutes after we were up four to one, and uh, we had to settle for the draw. So still, uh, still struggling there, but uh, we are still pretty weak at, at center back. I would like to get somebody else in there. Uh, taking a look at the team report, just so you guys know what we're dealing with. So remember, this is to play the kids, but I, my goal is, I think, and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this, is to have two stars to be starter quality, to be first team ready. Uh, I don't think anybody on a one star is first team ready, even at these lower levels. And so right now we've got Humphreys, Murphy, and Hughes in goal. I need to move one of these two guys, but they're both up for transfer. Nobody's offered for them. We have Hugel, Taylor, Kavanaugh, who's a young player. Bone, I tried to get rid of, and he lost his mind. I think he pulled a gun on me in the uh, office. Uh, he was really upset. Uh, I was cowering under the desk at that point, I think. Uh, <laughs> we've got Hemmings and Tierney on the back line. Lowe is, uh, Lowe's is on loan. And we have a couple of young guys, but they're just not ready yet. But we may have to throw them to the wolves. We just may have to. Out on the right side is Cuierto's new. Taylor from last season. Robertson from coming in this season. We have uh, Luis Nuevo and Bliss in the midfield. Uh, with Johnson and Bissix as well. Simmons went out on loan. Uh, Mudge and Luis Nuevo in the number 10. Bliss Cotterell can slide there as well. And playing a one-striker set, Graham Williams with Mudge and Cook backing him up. Peter Davies, another young player, can also back up up there. Uh, Bliss Cotterell on the right. Lee White is training out there for the attacking position. John Bliss can fill in there. 
and then Mudge, Ireland, Bliss Cotterill, and White on the left. So, you know, we've got a lot of guys who can play a lot of different positions. I'm just not sure how I'm going to like this one striker setup. Uh, I really want Luis Neveo, Nuevo up top, but I kind of need him in the midfield with Bliss. And, you know, Ireland can definitely play on the right. Bliss Cotterill on the, uh, I mean, on the left, Bliss Cotterill on the right, and that can slide Mudge back to the number 10. Uh, I didn't do that in the first match, but we may try that in the next one. So two more days, Borum Wood, we'll be right back. All right, in this one, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, a back four of Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo. Nuevo and Bliss partnering up in the mid for the first time this season. Ireland and Rawlings comes in on the right side. Mudge in the number 10 for the first time, and Williams up top. Uh, let's go ahead and pull Hughes out of the goal and bring in, let's bring in Lee White like him. He can play a couple of different positions. So we had nine more season tickets sold this year, so that was positive, I guess. Um, so nine more fans. And at this level, I'm assuming they're not plastics, so that's a good thing. Let's go with some encouragement. Uh, the board did refuse to relay the pitch last offseason, so that was disappointing. Borum Wood are the favorites in this one, but we are holding our own. Of course, uh, oh, he let it drop. I was a little surprised by that. Right back in, and Ben Doyle. Puts one right over Humphreys into the top of the net. And it's 1-0 Borum Wood. They were a tough out last season. We, uh, we're going to have to do better than that. I was surprised Hemmings let that bounce to begin with, but then just right back in and Tierney gets beaten. Uh, I, think, I think Tierney is our weak link back there. So I am going to be cover... And let's make him a no-nonsense defender. Just you kick the ball, and the other guy kind of backs you up because we don't trust you worth a shit. <laughs> all right, he plays it all the way back to midfield. They come in. It's Mudge, and Mudge slots it. Oh, who was off sides? It had to have been Williams, but he, oh, that's a hard break for Mudge. Because I don't believe Mudge was offside. Yeah, yeah, I guess he was. Marks took that step up. Just played him off. That was, oh, that was unlucky. All right, let's encourage him again. Three to one, on, three to two on shots. I'd like to see a little bit better. Let's demand a little more from him. The center backs are starting to show some wear, and I'm worried about that. We just don't have any real good quality depth and Humphreys ah yeah I don't know what he did right there all right uh let's we're gonna switch over to the 4312 that we kind of converted to last season that was very poor and Hugel has been injured with a foot injury. All right. Well, we do have Lewis Taylor that can come in for him. And in danger of being booked because he's frustrated. Fair enough. Uh, Graham Williams, let's bring, uh, let's bring Cook on for him. You hate to take Williams off because he is our ace in the hole. At least he was last season. Let's demand more. Taylor's going to take the throw. Bliss is on to it. Good touch. Oh, there's a nice ball in, and it's Nuevo, his first goal for Tiverton. And what a moment for the youngster. I don't think he's 17 yet. Remember, he made his debut at 16 last year. Bliss with a real good job there. Rawlings picks out a nice pass, and Nuevo cuts into the spot. And gets us back into this. It's Borum Wood 2, Tiverton 1. I was going to give him some praise, but we'll see. 
He chips it over, and it's there, but it's disallowed. Oh. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do a sub. We've made two. I've really got to find a center back that I feel comfortable with. Uh, Bliss is having a poor game. Let's bring Bissix on for him. I think that's the obvious one. And it was so obvious, I didn't even see it. All right, there's Nuevo. Picks it out. Good touch. Rawlings goes into the side netting for a goal kick. And we are pulling apart here. We need to go attacking, I think. And we're not going to pull anything out of this. Not good. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're going to point the finger. Not happy. Motivate them up. Needed to do better. But we do get one win. Uh, we're still in, in the mid-table area. So I'm okay with that. Hugel's out for two weeks. So luckily we've got a little bit of depth there. Hugel makes his debut and then gets hurt. That's unlucky, I guess. It's not as good as scoring on your debut. All right, well, let's come back into the month. Uh, we'll have Bromley highlights at home, and we'll play Bath away, and we'll see that next episode. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe for daily football manager content, and thanks for dropping by, guys. We'll see you. Take care.